Hello, welcome to another episode of Office Hours with the Math Sorcerer. In today's episode, I'm going to be answering an email I received from a viewer. It's a very, very good question, and I'm excited to answer it. If you are watching this on YouTube and you have any advice for this person, please consider leaving a comment in the comment section below. People really benefit from the comments. People read the comments. There's a lot of people all over the world who read these comments, and when you leave constructive criticism, it really, really helps people. If you're listening on Spotify or via YouTube podcast, you can always come uh, here to YouTube and leave a comment as well. All right, I'm gonna open up the email here. It's a good one, it's a really good question. The person's name is Yoon, Y-O-O-N, and the subject is getting feedback is essential. This is a really tough question. This is probably, it's probably one of the hardest things to do. Hi, Math Sorcerer, my name is Yoon, a graduate student. I really appreciate your content in YouTube. I have a question regarding self-studying math. I am self-studying topology and stats and have plans on self-studying other math areas. The current concern is that when I solve problems from the textbooks I am using, I wonder if I am doing it right. What I mean by doing it right is doing it mathematically rigorous. How do I get feedback about my work when I self-study math? And is it essential? What should I do under the circumstance which I cannot get it, since I am not in math major? Thanks for reading this, and I really wish you have a great day. Best, Yoon. So this is an extremely hard question to answer, and I am going to do my best to answer it. And again, if you have any advice, leave a comment. So seeking feedback on your mathematical proofs is extremely challenging. But let me just say this first. If... You keep doing it. If you keep doing math, you are going to get to the point, Yoon, where you no longer need that feedback. Okay, you'll get to that point. You'll be at that point when you know how to write proofs and you're good at it, right? And that's going to take a long time, right? It's going to take a long road. I mean, there's people who, who get math degrees and they barely make it. And I'll be honest, they're not that good, right? I mean, they just, you know, C's get degrees, <laughs> but like it takes time. And the more math you do, the better you get. So just because like you learn how to write proofs doesn't mean like you're a proof writing god, right? You have to learn more math and you get better. You grow mathematically the more math you do. So my advice is to get as many books as possible as you can on the subjects. And I have two recommendations for you for your specific subjects. The first is awesome. And I recommend this book to everyone. It is an extremely rigorous book on topology. It is a classic written by people who I should learn more about because I really love this beautiful book. I'm, I'm getting goosebumps. These people are so intelligent. It's called Introduction to Topology. This is a Dover book, so it's super affordable. I'll leave a link in the description to this YouTube video. It's by Theodore Gamelin and Robert Everest Green. Introduction to Topology. And great book. And it's a great book because it's standard. So it has contents that you're going to be studying, Yoon. Guaranteed what you're learning is going to be in this book. Like if you're studying like Topology by Munkries, chances are it might be in this book. Also, this book has full solutions to every single exercise. It's got full proofs. It's got detailed proofs to every single Topology exercise in the book, okay? Now you might say, OMG, this is a gold mine. All I have to do is buy this book and I'm going to learn Topology false. <laughs> so it's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. Uh, it's still really hard, okay? You still have to work through it. Even the examples, it's a rigorous book. This is a bona fide topology book. So it's going to take some effort to understand and to learn, but it's going to help you and it's a stepping stone. Another recommendation I have for topology is a free book. It's easier than this book. It's the easiest topology book that's free. It's called Topology Without Tears. And it was written uh, by Sidney Morris. I believe it's Morris. I feel like I should uh, quickly look at it. It's not Morrison. I keep thinking Morrison because Morrison, you know, Jim Morrison was the lead singer of The Doors. That's not what we're talking about here, even though uh, I, I like some of uh, The Doors music. But I'm pretty sure it's Sidney Morris. Apology. I've, I've read, I should know this because I've read the book. Uh, I've read at least three or four chapters. Yeah, Sidney Morris, Topology Without Tears. Just Google Topology Without Tears. Also, the beautiful thing about this topology book 
and this is great for anyone who's listening to this or watching this, is that this uh, topology about the tears is available in multiple languages. It's been translated. They even have a Spanish uh, version. I know this because I uh, reviewed the book for my YouTube channel, uh, Math Sorcerer Español, which is completely in Spanish. So if you watch, if you speak Spanish, go on YouTube and search for Math Sorcerer Español. Subscribe. <laughs> But both of those books, this one and Topology Without Tears, are going to help you a lot in your proof writing endeavors, and you can check your work. Um, for statistics, I recommend the book by Wackerly. And so what I would do there is I actually have, I think I have two copies of the book, but I couldn't find them before making this video. Get the book, but then also get the corresponding student solutions manual to the book. Okay, so do some work. It's going to take some work and some effort but that will help you. It's a very standard text. It's going to have what you're studying. It's going to have all the calculus-based stats. It's going to have detailed explanations about you know the mathematics behind hypothesis testing. It's going to have all that really good deep mathematics that you need that you're obviously trying to learn on your own. And use those solutions manuals as a resource. Another thing I can suggest for you that can help you when you're trying to check your work, and this is not the best way, is to try to find someone like in real life that you know. And I say it's not the best way because it's it's very time consuming to read someone's proofs. So you're gonna have to find someone. This is hard, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to do it. You're gonna have to find a math professor, okay? Or a very knowledgeable math graduate student, very knowledgeable, okay? Not just a grad, someone who really knows their stuff. And they're going to have to take the time to read your proof. And that is a lot of work. It's like it's like programming. I used to do a lot of programming. And when you when you write a program, it's easier to write your own program than to try to like look at someone else's code. Same thing with a mathematical proof. It's easier to write your own math proof than it is to look at someone else's proof. So if you can find a proof expert that is willing to take the time to read your proofs, that's a gold mine. It, it really is. And it, it does take a lot of time. It does take time. I've read people's proofs and it's... It's a lot of work. <laughs> so, and you know, you're reading their proofs and, and you, you see their proof and you see the mistake and you're like, oh, really? Why'd they do that? Uh, that doesn't make sense. You can, you know, once you know mathematics and you know how to write proofs, when you look at someone's proof, you can tell if it's wrong. You'd be like, oh, they don't know what they're talking about. It's wrong, <laughs> right? So that's what you want. You want someone like that who's actually going to take the time to do it. Um, I would offer to do it to help you, but no way, right? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's time consuming. That's why I, you know, I don't do stuff like that. And math professors who have students, you know, they do it for their students. But, you know, a lot of these math professors that teach these proof-based classes, they only teach two or three classes a semester and they have a grader. So it, it, it really helps them. They, they can grade the test maybe and the grader can grade the homework. It's a lot of work to read people's proofs. So that's why it's hard to get feedback. So try that. Try those two books, Introduction to Topology by Gamelin and Green. Worth it. Um, it's probably one of my favorite topology books. It's I like it because it's so standard. Again, it goes along well with everything you learn. Uh, topology without tears. Uh, that's a free free version online by Sidney Morse. Oh, also also the Shams topology book is also very good. It's very standard. It's got a lot of content. If you need something, you need to look something up. It's probably going to be in there. And again, for stats, the book by Wackerly uh, and Mendelhall. That book is good. Just get the student solutions manual and that can help you. And again, if you can find a professor or a friend who is actually willing to take the time to help you, even if they can just help you once or twice, it's better than nothing. Any type of insight that you can get, any type of feedback that you can get on your proofs is helpful. Another thing I just thought about that will help you for topology, I've got some stat stuff too, but you might have a hard time finding it. So for topology, I have a playlist on my YouTube channel. Just go to you know my YouTube channel, Math Sorcerer. And then just uh, search for topology playlist or topology, and you'll find a playlist in there that um, is for topology. And it's got mostly intro stuff. It's got you know, some topology in there, and so it should help you. And that should help you learn how to write proofs. Those proofs are written in a way that hopefully everyone who knows how to write proofs can understand. That was my goal. So I show all the steps. I go slow. I explain everything. It's They're way more detailed than what you would find in a textbook, right? That That's why I made them... In my mind, they're an improvement over the textbook because the book, the book is limited, right? The book only has words, okay? The book has words. I've, I've been in the process of writing a math book. I'm over halfway done and it's really hard. It's, it's okay and it's hard. It's hard to write a book. It's hard to explain mathematics in words. When you have a video, 
it's a little bit easier. So that's why I think those videos might help you because I feel like they're a little bit better than the books, right? Uh, but then you have to watch the whole video, so it takes more time, whereas reading is faster. So it's always good to have both. Another thing you can do um, is search for stats videos on my channel. You might be able to find some stats videos there. I have a couple where like I find the PDF and stuff like that. So if you're studying PDFs and CDFs, I have some videos on stuff like that. That might be helpful. And I also have a whole playlist on basic stats, but I'm assuming you don't want that. I'm assuming you want mathematical stats, like the harder stuff. So yeah. Anyways, kind of a long video, kind of went on a rant here. Um, if anyone is watching this on YouTube and they have any advice for this person on how to get feedback, uh, let me know and you know, leave a comment. Feedback is important. It is extremely important. And eventually you're going to get to a point where you don't really need it. And you'll get there when you become really confident in your proof writing. Once you become confident in your proof writing and you just, you just get better at math, you're not going to need that feedback anymore. But most people need that feedback and it's a struggle for everyone. Anyways, I hope it's been helpful. And if you're still watching this video and you're watching it on YouTube, make sure to hit subscribe. On this channel, I post all kinds of content. I post videos like this where I just like do an informal video and I answer an email. These are for my podcast. I post other types of videos. I do a lot of book reviews and I post other types of videos on other things like life advice, etc. It's mostly math and learning based and stuff like that. So, And I have a podcast on Spotify. So if you're listening there, subscribe. And if you're listening on YouTube, also subscribe. Until next time, good luck and take care.